Wagwan family, Wagwan people, my name is Jada and today I'm going to talk about how I'm going to buy my first property in Kingston, Jamaica while living overseas. Yes people, it's possible to buy a house a yard while living abroad and I'm going to tell you exactly how you can do it too as a resident and as a non-resident. So just stay tuned if you want to see the rest of this video. Just a quick backstory now, last year October 2019, I bought a little house in Jamaica and you know, I shared it on my Instagram and everybody stopped by my DMs now and asked me one bag of question and asked me who was my lawyer? Who was my surveyor? Who was my evaluator? Somebody even say them never know say could I buy a house a yard if you live a friend. So say I come more and count the person of them it back. They may deserve a count, not true. Talk the truth. Alright then. So I say, alright, cool. Instead of me answer the questions over and over again, I bet I'm just create a YouTube video. Then everybody can use this as a reference when they're ready for buy for them property. Look see the video here, people. When you can like it, when you can comment below, when you can share it, and you can also save it. So when you're ready for buy a property, you have something for reference to because this is more like a first time buyer guideline as to how you can buy a property in Jamaica while living overseas or if you're also living in Jamaica because it's the same process. So I could just jump right into the process. So you're going to need to get your finances in order you're going to need to save a deposit and you're going to need to save a closing cost so in terms of deposit deposits normally range from about five to ten percent of what the property is valued at or being sold at so i personally paid five percent and i got the remaining 95 percent of the property from the bank through a mortgaging process so that's what i'm going to be speaking about specifically today however if you can save more and on your deposit i will definitely encourage that because the more you save it means that it's the less you're going to borrow from the bank and it's also the lower interest rate your mortgage will be which is obviously a win-win and it will benefit you in the so long finances in terms of closing costs you're going to have to pay your closing costs as well it's probably going to be later on in your mortgage process but nonetheless you still need to have the finance in your bank and cost will cover stuff like your stamp duty and also your registration so getting your name onto the title of the property you're also going to need money for additional expenses like fee surveyor fee your valuator fee and any other expenses that may come with the property such as refurbishing furnishing grilling you know stuff like that and plus overall i think it's just always good to have a little extra cushion of money aside so guys if you have any unnecessary spending that's going on at the moment you need to cut it out stop it right now because it's not worth it once we have our deposit we're going to move on to getting our documents in order so documents will cover stuff like your proof of identification specifically for jamaicans we are going to need our trn your ni People that live in the UK, you can go down to Jamaica Embassy in Ken in Kensington and they can do the application right here and they will send it to you through the post once it is successful and it is completed. So you don't need to actually touch foot on Jamaican soil to get your proof of identification. You're also going to need your passport, birth certificate and you're going to need your proof of income. So if you did a plan for leave the job, no, it's not the time for leave the job. You're going to need a proof of income for at least three months and you're also going to need a proof of no, a verification of employment to need a credit report. So, so a credit report basically just shows how many loans and debts you do have and how will you pay them back. Your credit report, your documents ready, your, your deposit ready. The next thing that we need is our pre-qualification letter. So a pre-qualification or a pre-approval letter basically just states that Jamaica National, the bank, Jamaica National is willing to lend Jada. 20 million Jamaican dollars to buy a house under these conditional terms. So it doesn't mean that you're definitely going to get a mortgage, but it just shows lenders, other lenders, and it shows real estate agents and sellers that, you know, the bank is willing to, to lend you a mortgage and you can now use this letter to start to view properties. Before we get there, in order to get a pre-qualification letter, you have to go to your financial institution and you have a pre-interview where they basically dissect and, and and go through the whole of your life story they want to find out what kind of loans you have out at the moment what are your expenses and they basically just want to find out if you'll be able to afford the mortgage that's how they want to find out you have the pre-qualification letter the important part now is to start looking for the property first thing you're gonna think about what kind of property you want you want a house you want a townhouse you want an apartment you know, the, 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 the list goes on, so you really have to narrow it down. You have to definitely think about what your budget can afford. There's no point looking for a $16 million house when the bank's list of them can only lend you $5 million and you now have nowhere else to get your side from. So really narrow down the searches and I'll definitely say you need to visit the houses more than once and don't feel pressured to buy anything if you're not ready or if you're not feel the vibes. Remember that some of these real estate agents or property 
firms they are they are paid directly from the bank to sell properties so they're not necessarily looking for your best interest so it's aside you need them for a family then you definitely need to take other things into consideration like is the public transport nearby easily accessible do we have parks nearby is there possibly a school nearby you have to think about stuff like that because a property is a huge investment you know is a it's, it's not like you yeah, buy a new shirt or a new shoes where you can just replace. Once your name seal and sign, that mortgage is yours forever. You don't want to tie into something that you're not genuine. Personally, when I was looking for a property, first thing, online, it never did a workout. While sending the UK and looking online, it never did a work. Everything is either outdated or there was already an offer on or the pictures weren't clear enough so I couldn't make a decision. So I already had Carnival coming up in April, so, I'm a thing. so I thought to myself, when I go to Carnival, I'll just do the viewings then but I didn't do the, really do the viewings by myself I went with a property acquisition firm that basically did the whole mortgage process for me but I'll talk about that later on so to find a dream house now is the time to start getting other professionals involved now right right here so could drain in because other people you're going to depend on now so you're going to need a surveyor evaluator you're going to need lawyer, solicitor, you're going to need a whole show. I went to a property acquisition firm in Jamaica and they already had a hub of professionals. So you name it, any, any everything property related, someone that lives with that. So a survey, evaluator, lawyer, everything them have on them team. So I just paid them 1% of what the property was worth and they pulled everything together for me. They are the people that actually found the property for me. I went to the viewing once and I literally fell in love. I was like, okay, this house is mine. God tell me, said this is for me. Nobody can. The property with Poly Poly. They then took over the whole mortgaging process. They then had the professionals on their team that valued the property, surveyed it, everything. And I just paid them, like I said, the 1% of the property was worth. Once the surveying and everything was done, they sent it back to the bank. The bank then now sent it to the to the underwriting team and then they decide whether they're going to give you the mortgage based on the information that they can see. Thankfully, we got the house, we got the mortgage now. Once we got the mortgage, it was just time to exchange the contracts and finish payoff, who for payoff, you know, the lawyer, them, them kind of people. Eh? Payoff, who for payoff, we get the keys to the crib. And then, yeah, life's sweet, that's it, story done. Nothing long, nothing hard, nothing for dead over. And all of that took us probably about seven to eight months, I believe, because I started in April. April to October, how much more that? Yeah, that time they take away. If you live in Jamaica and you want to buy a house and you're not quite sure how to start, where to start, hopefully this video was useful. If not, you can definitely contact Pali Pali. I also have a discount code for you guys. J-A-Y-D-A-H-10. That's J.10 you guys enjoyed this video you like this content and you want more property related video definitely hit the subscribe button and like this video